Hi folks, let's continue our investigation into Business Analyst Web App from Esri. It's part of the ArcGIS family of products. We're going to go to Smart Map Search this time because I want you to have a deeper dive and a taste for a deeper dive into looking at Smart Map Search, which is a different way of looking at multiple variables. So for example, I have a lesson that I'm going to share with you on convenience store behavior. So here I'm going to look for C-store. I could also search on convenience store. And notice in, when I'm selecting these variables, it's almost like the Amazon shopping experience or any other shopping experience where you've got a basket, a checkout box. Go to index here because I, I don't want the actual number or the percentage, although that's wonderful for certain kinds of variables. I really want to look at an index because I'm going to narrow it down in a moment to over the national average which is a hundred for these different variables. So, but look at the granularity. Who's bought coffee in the last six months? Who, who's bought bread? Who's spent X number of dollars, a lottery ticket, etc. So right now I've got two variables in there. And now I'm going to go to bought gas at convenience store in the last 30 days. And let's say I don't see the other big ticket item at a convenience store. Let's say I don't see the lottery ticket. If I just typed in C store, I actually see the other things that aren't necessarily C store, but convenience store. But let's say I couldn't find it there for some reason. If I do another search on lottery, I've got all kinds of granularity just for lottery tickets. And so the one I want is bought lottery ticket at convenience store in the last 30 days. So now I have four variables. I can see what they are. Now I can save the list or I can map variables. And remember, I've got them all on index rather than percent or numbers. And I can use the sliders as the helpful graphic show so I can say I only want to drag these histograms over these little buttons and if I can't get exactly on 100 I can always type in the number of 100 on the left side as I'm doing right here so now I only want to see in this case states where all four variables are over the national average why would this pattern exist the way it does again the whys of where is the fascinating part of this asking questions gathering data doing some research leading to additional questions, gathering additional data, mapping additional data in various ways. So I can pan across here, and the nice thing about these pop-ups is that they show me what four variables and how the variation of the four variables change. And now I'm zooming into county, and notice the four variables that I mapped are still held at the county level. So now I see in a dark gray color, the counties that meet those criteria. And if I zoom in still further, I'm looking at the census tract. So let's say my lesson, which it is, is actually about the quad cities in Iowa. It's a nice place to pick a lesson location for because you've got some moderate, moderate amount of population, not too big, not too small. So it makes a nice study area for us. Now I'm going to look at Ooh, what about 110? I'm going to really look at the areas, the neighborhoods, in this case, the block groups that are 10% more than the actual na national average for these di different variables. And as I, of course, bump up these numbers, the fewer and fewer neighborhoods are going to meet those criteria. So I'm really going to be able to narrow it down here if these are indeed the variables that I think are most important to cite a new convenience store as the lesson that I've got online shows. Now, think outside the convenience store box. This could be for any variable inside Business Analyst Web, where you're using the same techniques I'm using right here to do the smart mapping for multiple variables. For this particular variable and for this, these four variables, and for 125, I only have one in East Moline, Illinois, that meets all of those 125 variables. What about, I'm just curious now, this leads to additional, additional questions. What other neighborhoods at this scale, the block group level, even though I'm zoomed out, I'm going to be able to see these if they're, if they're in dark gray. Notice I don't see other neighborhoods that meet the criteria. What about if I zoom into different neighborhoods, different cities? Gary, Indiana, are there any neighborhoods that meet those criteria there? Fascinating to be able to do this online with Business Analyst Web, panning to different areas around, in this case, the USA. I'm looking at USA data, consumer preference, behaviors, purchasing, and so on. Let's say I want to expand my study area. I can look at those other cities. I'm going to tweak the numbers here so I can see what neighborhoods in my study area, which is the Quad Cities in Iowa, meet 120 or more.
interesting to look at these patterns. Now, we've got a little bit of the modifiable aerial unit problem here where you've got some neighborhoods that are very small and some that are larger. If we go out to the zip code level, though, with these particular variables and with 120 in each one, notice I've got some zip codes in some rural areas and some urban areas that actually meet the criteria. And again, I love this because I, if I pan across this map with my mouse I see, or my cursor, I see the pop-ups show me which meet the criteria, not necessarily all four, but at least one of them do, and that's why these are in dark gray. If they're not meeting all four, then it shows me a little red uh, text for the ones that don't meet. And I can export this as a table. As you can see right here, I can actually sort the data in here so I can look at the different block groups as well. But I've got a lot of further investigation tools at my fingertips. I've just downloaded that Excel spreadsheet, so now I can go into Excel and uh, do some things in Excel that perhaps I couldn't do. I can sort the data, which I could do inside Business Analyst Web, but I can do additional things in Excel. Interesting. So I've got one neighborhood for the brewed coffee is a 34% above the national average. So it's got 134 for the for the number there. That might be interesting. Maybe I decide, well, it's not coffee that's my main criteria. I'm, I could weight these variables. I could weight them. They're, so not all weighted the same. I could weight lottery tickets higher than coffee. But are there other neighborhoods in, neighborhoods in the region? And of course, I've got the capability of changing the colors and the borders and all that sort of thing, which I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing here in this demo. You realize that you've got full control, the transparency, the overlay color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We are in smart mapping, multiple variables, smart map search with lots of data, lots of tools at our fingertips. This is the technique I was showing you earlier. I was indicating earlier and I pan across the map and I see what met the criteria and what did not meet the criteria. Interesting, and I hope this is intriguing enough for you to try it on your own. Thanks.